Hello students, today we are going to study the MCQs on the circulation in animals. The very first question is, arteries carry oxygenated blood except, as we know very well that arteries are meant for supplying the oxygenated or the pure blood from heart to the body parts. But you must remember that there is only one artery which is an exception which is carrying the deoxygenated blood or the impure blood in place of the pure blood right so this pulmonary artery arises from this pulmonary artery you can see here this is the pulmonary artery this is the pulmonary artery which arises from the right ventricle and it carries the impure blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for the purpose of purification so the arteries which carry artery carry oxygenated blood except which artery so the answer is the first one that is the pulmonary artery now the question number two chordae tendini are found in chordae tendini are found in you must know that chordae tendini first of all they are found in the heart now where they are present so they are actually present in the ventricles they are actually present in the ventricles now what are these chordae tendini so these are thread like tendons of the papillary muscles which arise from the papillary muscles and they are expanded up to the tricuspid wall and the bicuspid wall so we can say that they are associated with the ventricles so the options are they are associated with the ventricles of the heart, they are associated with atria of heart, joints or ventricles of brain. So we can say that the papillary muscles are associated with the ventricles and the thread like tendons which arise from the papillary muscles are called as the corditinidae. So the answer is first one ventricles of heart. The third is which of the following has thickest walls? Which of the following is thickest walls? See here, these are the about two are the auricles and the below two one are known as the ventricles. Always remember that the wall of the ventricle is thicker than the wall of the auricle. Now why? Auricles have to just store the blood while the ventricles have to pump the blood. Especially you can see that in the left ventricle and the right ventricle, the left ventricle is having thicker walls. Why? Because we know very well that in left ventricle, oxygenated blood is present, pure blood is present. And from this left ventricle, aorta supplies or pumps the blood to the body parts. So that's why we can say that wall of the left ventricle is always thicker right so see here which of the following is the thickest wall right ventricle left ventricle right auricle or left auricle so the answer will be left ventricle why not the right ventricle because right ventricle is not pumping the blood right ventricle is actually only sending the blood impure blood from uh, to the lungs by the pulmonary artery okay so the answer will be the left ventricle now the fourth question is role of pacemaker is to first of all what is pacemaker pacemaker is called as the SA node and it is having the role to initiate the heartbeat as we know very well that hearts are of two types myogenic and neurogenic neurogenic heart is not found in human beings we human beings are having the myogenic heart and the role of the myogenic heart is to pump with the help of the muscles so in our right auricle we are having a SA node or the pacemaker which is a nodal tissue the role of this nodal tissue or the SA node is to initiate the heartbeat so the role of the pacemaker is to initiate the heartbeat so you can see here that the third option the C option is the correct one that it is having the role to initiate the heartbeat now 
origin of heartbeat and its conduction is represented by so out of the following options out of the following options you have to choose that from where the origin of the heartbeat occurs and how it is conducted so there is a sequence you almost know that first of all the impulses travel from sa node to av node okay sa node is present in the right auricle and in the left corner of the right auricle what is present av node is also present av node is called as the auricular ventricular node okay now as the sa node is called as the pacemaker of the heart av node is called as the pace setter of the heart so first of all from the action potential from the sa node travels to the av node and from av node the action potential moves to the bundle of his this is the bundle of the his and then the action potential are actually spreaded in both the ventricles with the help of the purkinje fibers so what will be the channel from the sa node the action potential travels to av node from av node the action potential travel to bundle of his and from bundle of his it reaches to purkinje fiber and the purkinje fiber spread this action potential in the ventricles because of which the ventricles become contracted okay so you can see the options origin of heartbeat and its conduction is represented by first of all sa node av node bundle of his and purkinje fiber in the very first option you can see that the correct option is given sa node av node bundle of his and purkinje fiber so the answer will be the first one so dear student this video was actually based on the mcqs on the circulation in animals we will be coming with new videos with some more mcqs thanks a lot